We thought he would die. Some of our animals had died. Cow? Yes, a cow, a horse, a yak, and chickens. We had four years of bad crops. All the farmers did. Yes. Then one night, I knew you were coming. And at dawn, you were born. Tell me. You didn't cry. No cry. No, you didn't cry. And that day, your father got better. He named you Lamu, the protector. I know. Go to sleep now, Lamu. No. Me. No, it does not stop. Me here. No, I'm the father. You are the child. You sit there. <gasps> no. Me, sit here. Oh, no. Oh, what's the harm? Let him sit where he wants. You'll grow up all wrong. Only you can serve him. Only you can touch his food. Too clean. Everything just so. So what's the harm? He thinks he's king. Tell my story. Uh, uh, not again. Again, me. All right, Lamu, I'll tell you the story. You were born at dawn. It was so quiet outside. I helped Mama. She asked for me. When you were born, you didn't cry at all. You never cried. And I was surprised. And we gave you the sweet drink. And you pooped all over. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop that? Bring the child right back with you to the monastery. Thank you, Father. There were crows. I just remembered there were crows. When? The morning Hamu was born, do you remember? Mm. You were sick and I brought him to you. You said we'll call him Hamu. And you went to pray. I slept and later went outside and saw them. Hmm? A pair of crows had come to nest on our roof, as if they had come for Lamu. Just as they did for the Dalai Lama. Vivi! Oh. This must stop now, Lamu. Vivi?
are traveling to an Asa. Oh, please come in. It's so cold. Your servants will use the kitchen. Tessa. He always says he wants to go to Tessa. Tell me. Thank you for joining us. You say this is yours? What else belongs to you?
this is mine. This is mine. Mine. I need this. It's mine, Mama. Tamu, I'll get you a better one. Morning, Ed. Come on, Tamu. We have to leave now. You must be a very high lama, a great Tibetan monk. So this is a good thing. Don't be scared. You're not the first boy to be discovered like this, and certainly not the last. I will never let harm come to you. You must be a great man. I know. Who said you could sit here? Recent reading, Your Excellency. The boy's caravan is near. He has grown from the baby you sent me to find, Excellency. He's very strong, very inquisitive, a little afraid. He is waiting to meet the man who discovered him. We are going to shave your head now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, Come here, come here. We are going to cut your hair. Come here, come here, come here. Can you decide? May I be the doctor and the medicine, and may I be the nurse for all sick beings in the world until everyone is healed? Can you remember? May I be the protector for those without one? May I be a bridge, a boat, a ship for all who wish to cross the water? Centuries ago, a boy was born in Tibet. 
His name was Gintan Troop. The night of his birth, robbers came to his home, and his family had to run to save their lives. They hid the baby. When they returned the next day, the baby was alive. He was guarded by a pair of black crows. He was the first. He was Jinresi. We called him Kundun. Jinresi King. So you in a vision. I am dreading your regent. I found you, it was difficult. But you left me good signs. I hope it was not too long a wait, Kunde. You have chosen to come back to this life once more. You will stay as long as you can and then you will come again. You will be born again and again as long as old life continues. You are here to love all living things. Just love them, care for them, have compassion for as long as any living thing draws breath, wherever he shall be, there in compassion shall the Buddha appear. Compassion, the wish-fulfilling jewel, the 14th Dalai Lama.
Hello, Lord Chamberlain, we see you now. I am Pala, your Lord Chamberlain, to serve you however I can. Mm. Fifth Dalai Lama. Seventh Dalai Lama. Thirteenth Dalai Lama. You come of age, you will hold the great seal. Oh, -ho. very auspicious, Fourteen Dalai Lama. Should I tell you? Yeah? Just watch me. <laughs> Your turn. Let's play. Power! I'm on a big mountain hitting a man. I am braver. I have more men. I have smarter men. I have all the men. Today you lose, Gundy. Tomorrow you may win. Things change, Gundy. do we have to give him for finding the boy? It comes from our pockets. And then there are the gifts and the estates to offer the Dalai Lama's family. Look at father. Our purses are empty. Our army is depleted. The region is asking for too high a reward for finding the Dalai Lama. He would have us pull the hairs from our noses. Surely you're not suggesting that the cost for finding the boy comes from Redding's own pocket. He didn't ask for this position. He'd rather be at his hermitage in a retreat. <laughs> With all his women? <laughs> the great 13th. Can't we all see him in the face of this beautiful child? He dared to be reborn right on the Chinese border. It's as if he took a scarf and threw it as far as he could, so it landed Nando right smack in the face of China. And he said, this is Tibet. I will be born here, right to the edge of our country. And he says, this is my Tibet. Servants, everything is as you wish. We are very fortunate, thank you, Rupert. Yeah.
Mama. I don't like it here. This is an old dark place, but you will like the summer palace better. There are gardens, animals, like deer and dogs, little bears and birds, peacocks. Elephants? No, but a river and a lake. Fish. Many fish. Who's that woman here? She is Pandalama. It is her special duty to protect you and the government of Tibet. Is she real or pretend? She's real. She's Holiness, will you take the head of the table? That's your place. Ah. Dai Lama is not supposed to eat pork. It's bad for your brain. Go study. I get in trouble if you don't study. The Dalai Lama is not supposed to eat eggs. I'm sorry. Uh, we have them at last. Bumbo, eggs, look, eggs. Eggs? No eggs. No eggs. That's not the way you talk to people. But I'm in charge. Of whom? Can I save the sheep outside so they don't die? You're rich. Buy them. Will you buy them for me? Where will you keep them? Here, you and me. Then I'll buy them for you. You have beautiful horses now. Yes, I do. Go now. To go. My teeth are in there. What teeth? My teeth. I, I remember. Open it, Bumbo. Open it. Tell us. Tell us. They belong to the 13th Dalai Lama. Holiness. 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 Holiness.
Tato Rinpoche, the oracle has told me that if I don't leave Lhasa and devote myself to prayer, my life will be cut short. Please, do it right away, Reddy. You agree I should resign? Yes, Excellency, I do. The people are saying, how can Reddy give the Dalai Lama his vows if he has not kept them himself? I am sorry, Reddy Rinpoche, but it's true. I will resign, but after the danger is over, I will return to the position of regent. We only wish to do what is best for His Holiness. <clears throat> I take refuge in the three jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, until I attain enlightenment. Tatra, where is that thing? Where is that thing today? He has left Lhasa Holderness. Where did he go? A retreat, Holderness. How long? Several years. Oh. He has left your service. Another regent will be chosen. I don't understand. It's not for your years, Holiness. Why not for my years? I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. I want you to be my new regent. That is an order. I take refuge in the three jewels. The Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, until I attain enlightenment. Consider the importance of the Four Noble Truths. 
What are the Four Noble Truths? The Four Noble Truths as taught by the Lord Buddha are the truth of suffering, the truth of why we suffer, the truth of the end you of suffering. You are exhibiting too much pride here. Lawyer here. Ling Rinpoche is your teacher. You bow down before him. What are the causes of suffering? Pride. Pride causes suffering. You recite. Think of what you know. I need to squeeze this brain. <laughs> <laughs> Answer. First, one understands that he causes much of his own suffering needlessly. Second, he looks for the reasons for this in his own life. To look is to have confidence in one's own ability to end the suffering. Finally, a wish arises to find the path to peace. For all beings desire happiness. All wish to find their purest selves. It's time for you to leave him. I don't want you to go. We are old now. You'll be fine. I'll miss you. You are a good Delilah. I see a safe journey. I see a safe return. This is Britain. Uh, Where's Poland, Nobu? I don't know what it is. Where's Pearl Harbor? Do you know Pompo? I do not. This is Tibet. Mm -hmm. And this is China. How many soldiers do we have? About 5,000 holidays. So many. That's a lot. Certainly, we are safe in Tibet. We hope one day. Generation, the red ideology, danger from within and without, devotion, skill, regret, failure. or the war will end here.
careful. Before he died, before you were born. When I reached the age of 18, I was called upon to accept the responsibility of serving as spiritual and secular head of the country. The responsibility was by no means small, and it weighed heavily upon my mind. And then the Chinese invaded. There was really nothing much we could do other than pray. Our prayers were soon answered. For the power of truth is great and karma infallible. We routed the Chinese out. It may happen that here in Tibet, religion and government will be attacked. The monasteries will be looted and destroyed and the monks and nuns killed or chased away. We will become like slaves to our conquerors and made to wander helplessly like beggars. The days and nights will pass slowly and with great suffering and terror. Where were you born, Doctor? In Kerpo, Holiness. And you, Pala? Asa, Holiness. Right here? Yes, Holiness. What can I do? I'm only a boy. You are the man who wrote this letter. You are the man who has come back to lead us. You will soon have great responsibilities. You must know what to do. But to a single B-29 over the Japanese city of Hiroshima, it was the beginning of a new era for civilization. 8.15 in the morning found a 400-pound bomb with a destructive force of 20,000 tons of TNT mushrooming up over the stunned enemy city. To the frightened inhabitants, the end of the world had come. The almost horribly beautiful mushroom cloud ballooned up into the heavens. The luminous formation was to become the trademark for incredible death and destruction. One scientist had sounded an ominous warning when he said, an atom bomb explosion is the nearest thing to doomsday one could possibly imagine. I am sure that at the end of the world, in the last millisecond of the Earth's existence, the last man will see what we saw today. How is human life precious? As a result of previous karma, you have obtained this human life. Oh, ignorant one, do not fall asleep now. I can't see. What is happening? It's my friend, leave him alone. No, what is happening? Reting Rinpoche has been arrested. Reting? Kundun, I'm sorry. This is not for your eyes. Why not for my eyes? Summon the Kashak. What happened to Redding? It is very complicated, Holiness. Tell me. <clears throat> Redding Rinpoche thought he could return as regent. This was no longer possible, Holiness. There was an attempt on Takla Rinpoche's life. 
Really? Redding was arrested. The Sarah Monks fought today on Redding's behalf. The monks have guns? In this case, yes, Holiness. I didn't know monks had guns. No, of course not, Holiness. Where is Redding Rinpoche now? He is imprisoned here at the Putala, Holiness. There's a prison in the Putala? There has always been a prison here, Holiness. I think there's some things we need to change here in Tibet. We will have tea, please, Bumbo. Mm. Were you hurt, Dr. Ramche? I am fine, Kundu. I am old and too tough to kill. <laughs> Now, tell me about China. Ah, yes, again, a very complicated situation, Holiness. Your Holiness, the Chinese are once again trying to convince the world that Tibet belongs to them. Tibet is Tibet. For a long time, Holiness, we have agreed to disagree. We knew, and we knew that they knew. Now, they are trying to rewrite history. How unfortunate. Why don't we ask all the Chinese living here to leave? If there are no Chinese in Tibet, we cannot be a Chinese region. <laughs> Very good, Kundun. It is time we remind the world we are independent, would you say, Holiness? Can India help us? They know we are not a part of China. India is a newly independent nation. They are struggling. They are in no position to help us. Britain. Britain chooses not to. And America. America. America we shall see, Holiness. I shall write a letter to the President of America. Excellent, Gwendolyn. I will go see Rating Rinpoche now. I must advise against that, Holiness. I want Dretting Rinpoche well cared for. He is my teacher. He found me. It will be as you say, Holiness. I need to know what you know. Now, I'm no longer a child. So Mao Zedong has called for all-out war. He will settle for nothing less than a red China. Will the Iron Curtain descend over Asia as it has over Russia and Eastern Europe? It is conceivable that this declaration of war, following 20 years of fighting, may mark the final moments of a free China. Mao Zedong is now mounting an offensive in Peking. His Kundun. Army has Kundun. Listen to this. Look. To Mr. Truman, the President of the United States of America. I am glad that you are enjoying best of health and doing good service to uplift the happiness and prosperity of the whole world. Here I am well and doing my best for the religion of Lord Buddha and welfare of all beings. This is all so far. Kundun Radin Rinpoche has died in prison. Be distracted as you enter into the coming of the awareness. Do not be distracted. Go to your father. He is dead. Your mother would like you to perform last rites, Holiness. Now do not be distracted.
communists have control of China. Cherish CVK. The Buddha of compassion should know this. Mao Zedong has presented Tibet with three demands. One, Tibet must accept that it is part of China. Two, Tibet's defenses must be conducted by China. Three, all political and trade matters concerning foreign countries must be conducted through China. What would you do, Holiness? If you agree to the first point, that Tibet is part of China, then nothing else will matter. What would you do, Dr. Ada? I am only a bug. I would reject all three points. I would say we accept no conditions from the Chinese. We should hear what the people have to say. I will consult our protective deities. Lord Buddha appears where he is needed. As you say. Summon the Kasha. Your Holiness. Yes? The Chinese have invaded.
Chinese have crossed the river in six locations around Chando. Has anyone died? The radio operator said one man had been killed, and then he said the Chinese soldiers, they're coming. And then the radio went silent. of Tibet. Members of the People's Liberation Army have entered this western region of China at the urging of the Tibetan minority. Long a stronghold of imperialists, the Tibetan people have found themselves living in a feudal kingdom under the tyranny of the Dalai Lama. As the People's Army moves toward the capital of Lhasa, the local peasants gratefully welcome their liberators and happily join the crusade. What did the people say, Nobu? Do you think it's time for you to rule them now? I'm too young. I have no experience. Of course you have experience, Kunde. Who else would be here? Nobu? Yes, Holiness. Do you ever wonder if Redding found the right boy? No. I want to be 18 when I'm enthroned. All the Dalai Lamas were given until 18. November 17th, 1950, has been selected as the most auspicious day for your enthronement. Yes. We ask that you be prepared to leave Lhasa immediately afterwards as a precaution. As you say. Tibet will call on the West for help. I am sending delegations to America and Great Britain, as well as India, in hope that these countries will recognize our independence. Lukangwa and Lopsang Tashi, I am making you my Prime Ministers. Send a delegation to China. We will begin to make plans for reforms and modernization. Today, I declare a general amnesty. Free the prisoners. It 
it's time to take this down. You still won't come? No, Linus. You must continue to study very hard. And don't let them tangle you in politics. Remember, you're a monk. Oh, miss you. We have had fun, you and I. Yes, we have. And you have grown up very good. And you have grown older and more stubborn. But you've stayed good. <laughs> Tonight, Kunti, you see the world. The gods will win, the devils will lose. I'll send it back to you. It'll work. We will move the government to Dunga Monastery, near the Indian border. We will wait there for the world's response to our crisis. Violence is never good. Every result, be it good or bad, it had a cause. Why have they come, Molinus? What did we do that is bad? Nonviolence takes a long time. Do we have the time, Molinus? I have never known. This has come for me. And at the time of midnight, the Bodhisattva saw clear light. 
Then he saw in a single instant the three states of existence, the past, the present, and the future purified by the clear light. Then sitting at the tree of enlightenment, he conquered all the devils. visitors. It appears they've brought you an elephant. An elephant? Yes, Kuntun. An elephant. Is it here now? They have it with them. How fortunate. He is a modern man, just like he was the last time. Today, the surrender of Tibet is complete. In Peking, representatives from Tibet and the People's Republic signed a 17-point agreement returning Tibet to the motherland. The Dalai Lama's representatives have signed the agreement in his name and with his best wishes for Tibet's speedy reunification with the motherland. Point one, the Tibetan people shall unite and drive out imperialist aggressors from Tibet. Point two. General Chang Chin Wu. Chairman Mao asked me to convey his respect. I have been instructed to provide you with this copy of the 17 point agreement for your signature. I'm empowered to accept your ratification. I'm certain you wish to return to Lhasa. Do you have plans to return soon? <clears throat> we are discussing our plans. And we can discuss our plans with you in Lhasa when you return. Thank you. Let me know if we can be of any help on your return journey. I thought he would be some kind of monster, even with horns growing out of his head. But he's only a man. Just an ordinary human being, like myself. They are the worst of the worst. They're worse than ghosts. You. We were an isolated country. Then trade began. Our spices, silks, tea. But there was nothing that we the Chinese wanted from the West. So they gave us something to want. Opium. We craved opium. They tried to use it to destroy us. The imperialists. We are here to rescue you from imperialists. Or they'll do the same to you. Not in me. 
imagine sitting here what I came from. The floods, the famines were so bad. China was fragmented. Society was crumbling. There was a day before the war when I came up on a man with a dead baby. He was going to cook it. He shouted, it. it died. I did not kill it, it died. That is what it was like in China before Chairman Mao. <sighs> We believe that the time has come for you to go to India. India is our friend. You'll be safe there. The Americans will help us, Fulness. You read their letter. That letter is unsigned. It is not a real promise. China is close. America is far away. Many Tibetans could die, and China would still be close. If you stay in Tibet, we cannot guarantee your safety, Holiness. If you flee, Holiness, you might never be able to return. We've managed the Chinese for many years. These are not the Chinese we know, Holiness. These are communists. The fifth Dalai Lama joined an alliance with the Chinese. And a great spiritual revolution began in the East. A spiritual revolution? Does it begin like this? Friends, who is the fifth Dalai Lama now? Things change. Our own short lifetimes are not the only consideration. My first and foremost duty is to protect my people. I am going back. At first, things were good. The People's Liberation Army were kind and helpful. But that was a long time ago. They were with me all the time. Never left me alone. Prodding and insulting. Mother, no women in the monastery after dark. They have burned homes, bullied people like they did me. They think I, they let me come. They let me go because. Tell me. The Chinese believe I've agreed to kill you. Kill me? I am to convince the Dalai Lama to agree to their rule. And if I cannot convince you, they believe I will kill you. Do you think my own brother will kill me? They believe that? here. This place is a tribute to the past. And another thing, I want the songs stopped. Songs? What songs? Street songs about General Tan. They are singing about his gold watch. He's right. They're quite insulting. We have no authority to ban singing in our country. Then ban the public meetings. And we want 2,000 more tons of barley. This is impossible. You will bring famine down on the people of Tibet. More food, the best land for your soldiers to camp. The People's Liberation Army pays for all food and lodging. So far they do, but the quantity does not exist. You will have to reevaluate your needs. How much tea do you drink, Prime Minister? It depends on the quality, and that it be Indian. 
I am instructed to tell you today that plans for the Tibetan army to be absorbed into the People's Liberation Army have been finalized. I will not approve it. Then we will begin by replacing the Tibetan flag with the flag of the motherland. And we will begin with tearing it down. I'm so sorry. It must be done. We can no longer meet with the Chinese. They refuse us. I accept your resignations. Have you chosen your new prime minister's holiness? There will be no new prime ministers. They have taken away our silence. Britain, Nepal, America, India, all of those governments have refused to meet with our representatives. And the United Nations? The United Nations voted not to hear our appeal. So, we must face China and their might all alone? I'm afraid so. We have no choice but to negotiate. The Chinese must come to Lhasa. Times are desperate, Pala. We can go to Peking. People's Liberation Army's march into Tibet was enthusiastically supported by all sections of the population. In particular, Tibetans in all parts of China jubilantly celebrated the news and demanded their return to the motherland. The mission of China is to bring progress to Tibet. We welcome you, Tibet, back to the motherland. It is too early to implement all the clauses of the 17-point agreement. <coughs> the pace of reform must meet with the desires of the Tibetan people. Changes must be made slowly, as you yourself judge necessary. Tibet is a great land, a wonderful history. Long ago, you even conquered a part of China. But now, you have fallen behind, and we want to help you. In 20 years' time, you could be ahead of us. And then, 
It will be your turn to help China. You know, my mother was a Buddhist. I have a great respect for your Lord Buddha. He was anti-caste, anti-corruption, anti-exploitation. For some, politics and religion can mix. Please, have some sweet. Made in my home province, the kind my mother used to make. I have great hopes for a mutual cooperation. He has made important promises. You know, his family were Buddhists. They were farming people. I think socialism and Buddhism have some things in common. She will be fine, Your Holiness. The climate does not agree with her. He has made important promises. As you say. You will not feel badly about all the things of childhood you missed. You lost so much. I am sorry. Goodbye, Kundu. Goodbye, Kundu. Goodbye, Kundu. No, Nobu, don't die. No, none of you, don't die. minorities. The people of the whole country are pleased that the minority nationalities and the Han people are united. But we must combat Han chauvinism. Don't get the idea that it is the Han nationality that has been primarily helping the minority nationality. The minorities have given the Han people great help. Their every participation in the community of the Chinese Dalai Lama, thank you for coming so late. I leave tomorrow. Yes, I know. How has your stay been? Very interesting. Your factories are very impressive, and I enjoyed that. You have a lot to learn. How to draw out people's opinions and make decisions. Instruct your young Tibetans. When I make contact with you, I want to reach you through a Tibetan, not a Chinese. Very good. I agree with some of your ideas. For years, we have been reforming our monasteries and reorganizing... <laughs> your them. attitude is good, you know. I understand you well. But you need to learn this. Religion is poison. Poison. Like a poison, it weakens the race. Like a drug, it retards the mind of people and society. The opiate of the people. Tibet has been poisoned by religion, and your people are poisoned and inferior. Let me walk you to your car.
We cannot persuade you to stay in Peking. I must return. Take care of your health. Write me often. Are you happy? I'm very happy and prosperous under the Chinese Communist Party and the chairman of the a modern equipped army and still they fight. I have always asked for just plain information. The Chinese have bombed the monastery of Litang. It has been destroyed. They throw rocks from aeroplanes. Nuns and monks are made to fornicate in the streets. They put their guns in the hands of our Kampa children and force the child to kill the parent. I'll write to Mao again. He doesn't answer your letters, Gundun. Nonviolence means cooperation when it is possible and resistance when it is not. You have tried cooperation. Your resistance must come from outside Tibet, Kundun.
we will be moving Chinese families into Tibet territory. Farmers, 40,000. A revolt has broken out in the east. We have decided that the Tibetan army must be used against the Kampa guerrillas. General Tan, our people would never. You do not understand our people. I will not approve that. You have bombed on peaceful people. It is my job to deal with reactionaries. No, we are peace-loving people. We are here to heal the people of Tibet. You need reform. We are here to liberate you. No, Buddha is a physician, General Tan. He will heal us. Wisdom and compassion will set us free. You cannot liberate me, General Tan. I can only liberate myself. You are in great danger. The Dalai Lama cannot fall into Chinese hands. Our only hope is to fight. We cannot. If they kill you, they kill Tibet. You must flee. Tan Kuan San wishes to invite the Dalai Lama to a dance recital at the newly erected Great Hall of the Liberation Army. A dance? Yes. And because of the climate in Lhasa, General Tan requests that the Dalai Lama come without his bodyguards. One attendant is fine, it says. They would like to provide him. Yes, I'm sure they would. It's no time to anger the Chinese, Pala. There are tanks in the streets. Airplanes wait outside Lhasa. I think we can safely say the Chinese are already angry, Holiness. What would you do, my friend? I'm only a bug, Holiness. Holiness. I would think about what survival for Tibet really means in the years to come. I would consider my duty to protect my people. And so, I would leave now for India. But I won't do that. So write them. Say I'm sorry to Mr. Dance. Another time, maybe. Tell them to write me often. <laughs> I know it's a lie, but times are bad. As you say. You know, Kundun, I would never have let you go alone. Don't ask me to leave to bed, Pala. I won't ask you today, Holiness. <laughs> Please, you must go. Your Holiness. 
There is no crossing a big river, no forts, no shallows. Where the only hope is a boat, and there is no boat. I will put a boat, Gunther. The wish fulfilling jewel will shine from the west. Lama and a few trusted officers can stay within the inner wall and inform General Tan exactly which building you will occupy. We certainly intend that this building not be damaged. They're going to bomb us. Apparently. Well, we want no mistakes. He adds as a postscript, the Chinese have taken the strictest measure to prevent your escape. Tell them I will be here with my people, right here. See that this one, How is it outside today? It's a sea of frightened faces. There is a rumor that His Holiness is gone. The supply trucks coming from the Botala. Could we fill them with guns? Yes, we could. Guess how? I want you to call the tailor in. Have him make you a soldier's uniform. Make it look old and worn. Do it quickly, please. encampment we cannot possibly I'll fight them I'll get a gun and fight them I'm so confused I'm told we have to make a journey but no one tells me when or where I will go if you are going. Just go ahead. The saddest thing is, we were about to change. We are going to do it alone. We were just about to do it alone. I'll go to war! The Dalai Lama does not believe in war.
We have a long journey to make, Pumpu. We do not know how it will end, and it is very sad. But I would not consider going without you. Holiness, the Chinese have moved their camp. The Oracle's route is safe for us now. We must go. Yes. Sanctuary has been arranged in India. They're expecting you. Thank you. safe journey. in the awakening of the Buddhas and also in the spiritual levels of their sons. With folded hands, I beseech the Buddhas of all directions to shine the lamp of Dharma for all bewildered in the gloom of misery. Beseech all the Buddhas who wish to pass away to please remain for countless eons and not to leave the world in darkness.
dream experience. Whatever things I enjoy will become a memory. Whatever has passed will not be seen again. temporary government of Tibet, the only legal authority in the land. away with water, nor remove beings' sufferings with their hands, nor transfer their realizations to others. Beings are released through the teachings of the truth, the final reality.
virtue that has collected through all that I have done. May the pain of every living creature be completely cleared away. With all respect, sir, may I ask, who are you? What you see before you is a man, a simple monk. Are you the Lord Buddha? I think I am a reflection, like the moon on water. When you see me, and I try to be a good man, see yourself. <laughs> <laughs>